Hello everyone, this is the Mental Health for Life channel. Depression is a disease triggered by stress. It used to be thought of as a mental illness, but research on the brains of people who died from depression revealed lower levels of a substance called serotonin. When depressed individuals were given medication to increase serotonin secretion, their depression improved. Now, it's common knowledge that depression is a problem with brain function and medication treatment is effective. However, in reality, only about 70% of people respond to antidepressant treatment, leaving 30% without relief. As a result, other physical treatments like magnetic therapy and electroconvulsive therapy have been tried, but some people still cannot be cured. Is there more to it than just a problem with brain chemistry? What are the real causes of depression? In this video, we will explain four facts about a lesser-known cause of depression. 1. What kind of stress is most likely to cause depression? Depression is triggered by stress, and the nature of stress varies. Whether it's work pressure, worries, or losing someone dear, the events triggering depression differ from person to person. Even seemingly minor events can become psychological burdens for some individuals. However, there is a common factor among most depression-inducing stresses. Research shows that stress that is most likely to induce depression involves feeling invalidated and losing self-esteem. Self-esteem, or self-worth, is the feeling of being a valuable individual. For example, being busy with work doesn't lead to depression if the work is fulfilling because one still feels valued. Conversely, being forced to do unfulfilling or meaningless work increases the risk of depression. When you don't feel valued, your self-esteem drops, draining your energy and leading to depression. These feelings of, I'm worthless and I'm not needed, can trigger depression when they persist. There's a strong link between depression and self-esteem. 2. Depression is caused by a loss of self-esteem. Let's discuss a somewhat harsh animal experiment. In a lab, animals are placed in situations where they cannot escape and are subjected to electric shocks. Naturally, they try to escape the shocks at first, but with repeated exposure, they become passive and stop resisting. Even when they learn how to escape the shocks, they remain passive. This phenomenon is called learned helplessness in psychology. By applying learned helplessness to people, a model for the development of depression was proposed. When individuals face constant invalidation and rejection of their ideas, they experience a decline in their self-esteem, leading to emotional and motivational issues that can culminate in depression. For example, working in an environment where your efforts go unrecognized and there is constant criticism can erode self-esteem and contribute to depression. Loss of self-esteem is a significant cause of depression. 3. People who have lost self-esteem what happens if you come from a childhood of constant negativity from your parents and others around you? Being abused or neglected by your parents or bullied at school makes it challenging to develop healthy self-esteem. On the contrary, you will be imbued with the feeling that you are not needed. Growing up in an environment where one constantly feels threatened leads to the habit of negative thinking as a defense mechanism. These individuals show typical thought patterns. Firstly, they tend to have negative thoughts about themselves, such as feeling unneeded. Secondly, they often perceive the world negatively, believing that it's against them. And thirdly, they harbor pessimistic thoughts about the future, convinced that they will inevitably fail regardless of their efforts. These negative perspectives create a framework for their thoughts, making them interpret all information in a negative light. This mode of thinking is called depression-prone schema. People with this tendency are more likely to develop depression and may not respond well to medication. People with developmental disorders often lose self-esteem due to difficulties in social interaction. Consequently, they may develop depression due to this schema. 4. Ways to regain self-esteem How can one regain self-esteem to overcome depression? It's not something that can be achieved through effort. It requires healing. One must patiently wait for natural recovery while treating depression with medication, rest and therapy. For those who have long been invalidated and carry a depression-prone schema, it takes a considerable amount of time. Cognitive behavioral therapy, a specialized counseling treatment, is available for treating depression-prone schema. 
It involves building a deep trust with a counselor over time. Unfortunately, sometimes therapists focus too much on techniques and not enough on building a strong bond with the person, which can slow down progress. To restore a sense of self-esteem, it is also necessary to be valued by others. However, if the staff at the hospital one attends is authoritative or often in a bad mood, it only causes more harm. Furthermore, at home, one should not feel uncomfortable, but rather feel cared for. It's essential to attend a medical institution that makes you feel comfortable and live in an environment where you feel safe. It's also said that experiencing success is necessary, but achieving success during depression is challenging. Research suggests that accumulating the experience of small joys is more effective than achieving significant success. Small joys could be anything enjoyable, like taking a walk, entertainment, gardening, or having lunch with friends. By experiencing these moments, one can gradually regain the feeling that it's good to be alive and life is enjoyable, which are signs of recovering self-esteem. For depression, treatment with medication is the priority. Most people improve with medication and rest, but if depression persists, it may be because lost self-esteem hasn't been restored. It may take a while, but concentrating on finding peace in your life and enjoying small moments can slowly rebuild your self-esteem. This was the Mental Health for Life channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.